Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Azure Database for PostgreSQL. And we will learn how to create an Azure Database for PostgreSQL Server by using the Azure Portal. What is Azure Database for PostgreSQL? Azure Database for PostgreSQL is a relational database service based on the open source Postgres database engine. It is fully managed database as a service offering that can handle mission critical workloads with predictable performance, security, high availability, and dynamic scalability. It is available in two deployment options as a single server and as a hyperscale cluster. The hyperscale option horizontally scales queries across multiple missions using the sharding and serves applications that require greater scale and performance. We will learn how to use Azure database for PostgreSQL with, uh, in this module. Let's talk about Azure Database for PostgreSQL single server. The single server deployment option delivers built-in high availability with no additional cost, predictable performance using inclusive pay-as-you-go pricing, vertical scale as needed within seconds, monitoring and alerting to assess your server, enterprise grade security and compliance, secure to protect sensitive data at rest and in motion, automatic backups and point in time, restore for up to 35 days. And I will show you how to set up this backup, how we can change like, you know, seven days, 14 days, 35 days, when we log into portal. And Azure Database for PostgreSQL single server, all those capabilities require almost no administrator, no administration, and all are provided at no additional cost. They allow us to focus on rapid application development and accelerating our time to market rather than spending precious time and resources to manage virtual missions and infrastructure. We can continue to develop our application with the open source tools and platform of our choice without having to learn new skills. The single server deployment option offers three pricing tiers, basic, general purpose, and memory optimized. Each tier offers different resource capabilities to support our database workloads. We can build our first app on a small database for a few dollars a month and then adjust the scale to meet the needs of our solution. Let's talk about Azure Database for PostgreSQL Hyperscale. The Hyperscale option horizontally scales queries across multiple missions using sharding. It is, its query engine paralyzes incoming SQL queries across these servers for faster responses on large data sets. It serves applications that require greater scale and performance, generally workloads that are approaching or already exceed 100 GB of data. The hyperscale deployment option delivers horizontal scaling across multiple missions using sharding, query parallelization, across these servers for faster responses on large data sets, excellent support for multi-tenant applications, real-time operational analytics, and high throughput transactional workloads. Applications built for PostgreSQL can run distributed queries on hyperscale with standard connection libraries and minimal changes. I will log into Azure portal. I will show you how to create an Azure database for PostgreSQL server by using the Azure portal. 
I logged into Azure portal. I will go to search. I will just type Azure or I will just type Postgre. So under the services, we see Azure database for PostgreSQL servers. Click on Click on Azure database for PostgreSQL servers and click on add. So here we have to choose single server or hyperscale server group. So how do you plan to use the service? So in this module, we will create a single server. Click on create on single server. And we need to create a resource group. I will just say PostgreSQL resource group. And we need to give a server name sample Postgre test 01. And server name is available. And data source, let's keep it none. Location, let's choose East US. Version, let's select the latest one, 11. And compute plus storage. So here we can adjust our configuration so i will choose basic and i will just keep it a v code one so i choose v core one and then storage let's just keep it some 46 gb and the backup retention period we can increase it eight days, 11 days, 12 days. So I'll just keep it 14 days and click on OK. And now we need to create a credentials. I'll just say Azure user, admin username. Now let's go to next tab, additional settings. So, and let's go to next one tags. We don't need any tags here. So let's deploy this PostgreSQL server. Now initializing deployment. So it takes few minutes to complete. Now deployment is complete. I will go to resource. By default, the server that we create is not publicly accessible. So we need to give permissions to our IP address. So I will go to server resource in the portal and then select connection security from left, left side menu. So under the settings, we, we, we can see that connection security, click on connection security. So here we see that allow access to Azure services. Yes and save it and we can also add our ip address so while this is while this is updating the connection security settings i will click on cloud shell and create storage We will connect by using PSQL and Cloud Shell within within the portal. I will go to overview page. I will copy the server name. And I will copy the admin username. I will enter this connection strength, PSQL host, and that is our server name, and the port 5432, and username Azure user at sample Postgre test 01, and DB Postgres, enter. We need to enter the password.
So now we successfully connected to this Postgres. Now I will create a sample database. Sample DB. Oh. Now let's view databases. Okay, show databases. I will just switch to the newly created sample DB database. I will just say backslash C and sample DB. So I'm in this sample DB database. If I want to quit and I, I can just say backslash quit Q to close this PSQL. So we have successfully created an Azure database for PostgreSQL Server, any resource group, and we created a sample database. And we connected to PostgreSQL Server using Azure Cloud Shell. If you have any questions on this Azure database for PostgreSQL Server, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please sub subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.